Welcome to Vegan Finds, where we're going to take this and turn it into to this. The infamous Doris Pizza Waffle. It is absolutely delicious. Your kids will be amazed. They won't even know that they're eating something that's actually super duper healthy for them, which is a bonus for you. It's also super duper healthy for you, so that's also a bonus for you. So it's a double bonus, baby. We got some tomato sauce that um, our daughter likes to cut in the waffle into pieces and dip it in. So we're going to show you how this is done. There may be points where my voice is in place of Doris's hands. Uh, that could be because of technical difficulties that we had with the mic. Um, you know what they are. I know what they are. I'm not going to mention that I did not turn on the mic again because <laughs> she'll kill me. So stick around and we'll be back. So what I'm actually going to make today is what we call the pizza waffle in my house. It came after a mistake that I made trying to follow a tofu recipe to make an omelet. And it was um, a disaster. And the only thing I could come up with to do with the said batter was to make a waffle out of it. And it happened that my daughter thought it was the most delicious waffle she'd ever eaten. And this particular waffle, I use lupini bean flour, which is an extra protein, besides the silken tofu. So the silken tofu and the lupini bean flour are very low in carbohydrates but very high in protein. So we are going to use that today to make the waffle part of our waffle. And to make the pizza part we're going to use some vegan cheese. We have oregano and powdered garlic and some fresh basil and obviously a tomato. So I am going to drain the silken tofu and then I'm going to show you what to do next. So in my Ninja Blender, I am taking one stem of basil. So it's a very large stem of basil. In New Jersey, basil is a, um, an art form because uh, everybody eats it with tomato, mozzarella, and basil. And because we live in New Jersey, tomato is a religion here. So uh, we like to try to get the best basil from the farmer's market that we can find. We usually do grow it, but this year, you know, with COVID and everything, we just forwent the actual growing of anything. So in that, I'm also going to add one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of garlic. Now, Selena happens to really like things cheesy. That's the word, cheesy. So I am going to add one cup of vegan mozzarella but first i'm going to add my one cup of lupini bean flour now you can add chickpea flour you can add lupini bean flour i haven't tried it with regular flour yet um because well we don't really use i mean we have regular flour but when i've been making this we made it so that it was a low carbohydrate meal not a high carb meal with regular flour so we were trying to do very low carbohydrate and then we're just going to add our cheese and then we're going to blend this up and i'm going to show you how, to, how it looks so as you can see it's got a very thick consistency to it so what we're going to do is we're going to pat that down get all of the flour off the sides now if it is too thick you can add a little almond milk or um Almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, whatever you use in your house. Um, Non-dairy non milk. What we're going to do is we're going to add the non-dairy milk now. I think it's, it's going to be the oregano a little. Um, so we're going to add some onion powder. And we're going to add some more garlic because I tasted it and it tasted like it could use a little bit more garlic. So we're going to add some more garlic to that. Okay, so when you're putting the batter into the uh, waffle iron, 
you're just going to kind of lay it down here. I had pre um, buttered this with the vegan butter. And w what's going to happen is your natural inclination is to smush this down. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Because aside from it coming out the sides, what's going to do is create an air pocket that is not going to allow for the waffle to cook the way you want it to and it'll come out all um, mushy and you you're just gonna have to trust me on this this ready light may not come on until you flip it over what I like to do is I wait five minutes on this side then I flip it over you may get some oot when you flip it over you may get some oozing that's fine wait another five minutes flip it back over and then take a peek so that's about 10 minutes per waffle which is a lot longer than an average waffle but let me tell you something the results will be worth it okay so there you have it we got a pizza waffle fully cooked what we actually did ended up doing was adding some additional lupini flour to our batter and you can see how beautiful this has come out it looks delicious it tastes delicious. The infamous Doris Pizza Waffle.